Gunnarsson keeps good track of time because once it ran out. Halloween 1983, another Houdini tribute. In front of a big crowd in Winnipeg, Gunnarsson was about to attempt his most dangerous escape. And they chained me up, they put me inside of a coffin, they nailed the lid on, wrapped it in chains, and then they lowered it into the uh, icy Red River there behind the, the concert hall at the Alexander Docks. And I was underwater for you know, three minutes and 47 seconds, and I didn't escape. Something had gone terribly wrong. Gunnarsson failed. This was not a stunt for the TV cameras, as many first thought. It was real. Gunnarsson wasn't coming up. Assistants motioned to emergency crews for help. They pulled the coffin from the water. Pride opened the lid, and there I was inside. I was blue and conscious and dead. And the Winnipeg Ambulance Service, you know, ripped me out of the coffin and started, you know, bringing me back to life. And, uh, you know, I, I was dead. I remember seeing the lights at the end of the tunnel, the whole bit. And uh, they rushed me off to the Health Science Center. And uh, I remember regaining consciousness in the van of the ambulance uh, on the way to the hospital. And I couldn't open my eyes, but I could hear the sirens going on, and I, I knew things had gone wrong. Thanks to the quick work of emergency staff, Gunnarsson survived. Only days later, he promised a return. Vowing that I would not deter me, that it would only make me, you know, bigger, better, and stronger in the end. So I don't look at it as, as a failure. I, I look at it as something significant in, in my life that, that made me a, a better escape artist. Many told him to quit, hang up the chains and the straitjacket. His mom never tried to talk him out of these escapes, but they did have plenty of long talks. It was very, very frightening. The, the, the reality is, is that this dean, dean was doing these things as he became an adult. And so I could just offer my, um, my concern, I, you know, share with him what, what was happening for me and to, and, and, and to kind of trust that he had to know what he was doing and that he had good supports and good things in place to, to do what he was doing and try to manage my own fears. Since the failed water escape, Gunnarsson has been submerged over and over again, including this live show in Japan, a water torture chamber. You would never, ever want it to happen again, but I'm glad that it did happen because as a person, as an escape artist, it taught me things about the escape, about you know, not panicking, about dealing with underwater, things that I could have never, ever learned have it, had it not gone, gone wrong. When Manitoba Moments returns, I don't want any regrets. Why Gunnarsson puts his life on the line.